Hey all Russ here RV TV welcome We're just leaving that ancient ruin city Wasn't that cool Boy this trip across the US 60 here in New Mexico so far has been pretty good even with a pandemic going Well we're gonna keep on trucking uh I want to get across uh, about 20 some miles up the road here is Interstate 25. We're going to pick that up. We're going to take it south. It's still on 60. And then uh, once we get down to a town called Socorro, we'll continue on 60 westbound. And I think once we hit the uh, interstate, we'll have like a little over 100 miles left of New Mexico on US 60. Then we will be in the great state of Arizona hopefully what a pretty place here wow this is neat I think I'll po find a place to pull off up here and we'll fly the drone I'll get a little aerial shot of the landscape here what's that sign say yep it's about 20 some miles left to the freeway I-25 that sign there's a campground 16 miles I'm not going back 16 miles on dirt road but actually I bet there's quite a bit of BLM in here that'd be something to research if you ever get in this neck of the woods check it out Well, here's a little place to pull off. I want to fly the drone for the winds pick up. They're supposed to really gust later. So I'll just take a little opportunity right now. We'll check it out from the air. All right, let me get parked. Right up we go. Wow. That's what I want to see. Look at that old corral there. Oh, a train. Kind of like a gorge right there, huh? Isn't that cool? There's the landscape of New Mexico. Pan around, that's looking back 60, that's the direction we just came from. Wow, that's a long train, look at that thing. Little patches of greenery. Pretty. See a lot of cell towers, that always had good reception all the way across so far. All right, well, anyway, that's just a quick aerial look. That would be kind of cool. Morning starting to pick up the sunlight, and I thought, well, hey, let's get a shot of it from up here. For the winds, ground me. Once the winds start here, they scream. Boy, I've had some huge cross winds. All right, get landed, and we'll get on our way.
All right. I already felt a couple gusts as soon as I landed that drone. Check out the windmill across the way. Pumping water. A lot of cattle. Cattle country. Open range, probably. BLM. All right, let's head for I-25. Looks like we're dropping down into a valley here, getting out of these hills. Very scenic place, that whole mountain area where the ancient ruins was. Very scenic. High in altitude, too. Cool. Alright, keep the cameras on, enjoy the view. Getting close to I-25. Yeah, look how that's all changed. We went from flatlands to hills, back to flatlands. We made it. Here's the interstate I-25. To the north would be Albuquerque, but we're going to head south to that Socorro. A few buildings there. And then once we get down Socorro, then 60 takes back off from there. Here we go. About 20 miles. really see the mountains off to the right that's where we'll be going into pretty much it's been flat sign says five miles to go all right made it the big town of Socorro, New Mexico. Looks decent size. What is this? Exit 150, 60 West. 
So long interstate. Really, I've done pretty good. Haven't had to travel hardly inter any interstate at all since Amarillo. Cool. Well, this looks like gas station and motel row here. I need to top off. I want to top off the fuel tank. Take a break a minute. 236 for diesel there. See what we can find. Big Auto Zone, Aaron's Electronics. A lot of stores here. Another motel. Pizza. Fast foods. Temperature still isn't too bad yet. It's decent in the 70s. There's a dollar store. Yay. All right. What we got here? This will work. 234. All right. Grab a little diesel. Take a break a second. I've been driving since pretty early, before uh, sunrise. <laughs> Alright, get some fuel, be back. all fueled up the nice lady there at the gas station she said there's a satellite array a huge satellite array VLA or something like that that's down the road she said there's another little town too up this direction so we'll see what we can find this neck of the woods and neat stores this is definitely a good stop I'm sure there's RV parks around I just didn't look for any small town USA right here like we're at the end of town here. I see mountains. Straight ahead. Mountains mean scenery. here we go a lot of this reminds me of Arizona like up in uh, around Kingman look at the landscape here high mountain desert with mountains
seen uh, a few BLM camp area markers too. So they must have, maybe it's dispersed, I don't know. I'll have to research this a little bit when I get back. Here's a little bit of a side view of what I'm seeing while I'm driving. Just flat as a pancake. Then you got hills. And off this way, more hills. <laughs> Still a pretty drive. A lot better than any old uh, interstate travel. Here's that little town she was probably talking about. Small town USA right here. This nestled up here in US 60 in New Mexico. Nice. Old style buildings. Pretty good sized town. Pretty cool. Okay, you got gas stations, restaurants. Brick. Probably gets pretty stormy through here. Nice mural on the side of that building. A dollar store. Every small town has a dollar store. Looks like this is it. Cool. All right, well, let's go find uh, those uh, satellite array. It's supposed to be huge, according to that lady. Let's see what the sign says. Just some local stuff. Pretty place. All right, let's go find them. Here's another side view. Flat and rolling. Bet there's a lot of cattle out here. They probably had a lot of farms and ranches. They probably got water. Look how flat. Pull out. Looks like a storyboard too. Picnic table sign. Let's stop. Think I'm gonna have a little lunch here. See what the sign says. I'll film that and then I'm gonna take a break.
livestock driveway, huh? Wow, they drove cattle and stuff through here. I'll be darned. 125 miles, wow. Now they probably use trains, trucking. They had chuck wagons and all kinds of stuff. How cool is that? All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, I made a little lunch, had a sandwich in those satellite deal should be right up the road here okay this sign here campground cabins you know this wouldn't be a bad place in the heat to come get away because the elevation here is way up we're Probably a good 6,000 foot. There's a van parked there. So you can definitely camp through here. I see those big antennas. I wonder if it's open to the public. VLA, huh? Let me, uh, it's four miles back. Let me pull off. I'm going to check, see if this thing's even open. Not open to the public right now due to the pandemic. But there's a rest area up here where you can get a close up of them. That sign said VLA rest site two miles. That's where we're going. Wow, look at the size of them things. They're everywhere. Looks like they're all pointed the same. They must control them. Want to talk to Mars? <laughs> look at the size of that thing. Goodness. Oh, I got to stop. Well, stop get a few pictures. I'll pull up. Oh, look, they even got their own little railroad track. That's how they get them out here. I'll be darned. I'm going to park next to this truck. There's a historic marker. There they are. Look, that's our building way out there. There's dozens of them. I need to check this on Google Maps, see what it looks like on Google Maps. <laughs> Look at that thing. Busy road. See the railroad track there? And that's how they haul them out. Bet you could really get HBO with that thing. <laughs> All right, time to roll. Fun low stop.
Well, there's another one. Would like to come back to when they're open. Pandemic has their public access closed. But hey, we got to see one anyway. Pretty cool. Alrighty, we're getting a little long in this video, so I'm going to cut it here. We'll see what else we got. We still got uh, some miles left in New Mexico before we hit Arizona border. Okay, journey continues. Talk soon.